Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you guys ways you can curl your hair using a flat iron. And if you're new, hi, I am Tina. So let's get started. So today I am wearing my hair extensions because I wanted more hair to curl with. And I'm gonna use my new favorite flat iron from Langsim. I love this one because it is big. Look how much bigger this flat iron is to this. This is the standard one inch size flat iron. And this is the one and a quarter inch flat iron from Langsam, which means I can curl my hair faster, I can take bigger sections. So if you guys have long, thick, very curly hair, always go with the wider plate. And because it's one and a quarter inch flat iron, it's the best flat iron that I've ever used. Now the set looks and feels very high end, which is nothing unusual. But the most surprising thing about this flat iron is the fact that when you run it across the section of your hair, your hair at first feels slightly damp and then incredibly moisturized, shiny, and silky as it dries. So I emailed Langston to ask why my hair felt damp because I have I was really confused to be honest and apparently this brand developed a new technology where they somehow infuse argan oil inside their metals and I still don't get it but that is what they told me it is argan oil bonded inside the place that's making it feel slightly damp right afterwards. I want you to know this is not just a brand this is actually a factory that makes high-end flat irons and curling irons etc for high-end brands it also has this clip the clip i didn't really like this is just really for the bangs this is not good this is fantastic okay so let's start with the pin curl flat iron curl smooth it and then i'm gonna wrap this around two fingers and i'm gonna wrap it flat because i want it to be smooth and I'm struggling with the layers because, you know, I'm wearing hair extensions. So now I'm going to pinch it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then I'm going to hold this in my hands for about, no, actually I'm going to clip it so I can move on to the next curl. Because look at the amount of hair I have here. It's going to take like two hours to curl it. Okay, all right. So next, I'm going to show you guys how I got this really beautiful, luxurious, standard flat iron curls. Smoothie hair. And then I'm going to take my flat iron, place it in the plates. Then I'm going to turn the plates 180. So the ends of the hair comes out of the plates like this. Then I'm going to very slowly bring it down. And just give it a twist. This makes the most perfect size curls for long hair. Now for this one, we're going to do the up and down weight. We're simply going to curl under, go down. Go up, down, and this was the pin curl we did earlier. The first method, pin curl, the classic curl, and the wave is back here somewhere. And I think the wave method is a fail. Okay, so let's keep on going. This curl is not really a curl, it's more like tucked under look for a blowout. Smooth it, then as you get towards the bottom, you're just gonna tuck it under. And then for this one, we're gonna do the heat it and then pin it method. So we're gonna take a small section and then I'm just simply going to heat this up with the flat iron. And once I heat this up, I'm going to wrap this around two fingers, then pin it up. And after five to 10 minutes, it should be curled. And this was the heat and wrap method. And you get these loose waves. I want you to know it is harder to curl hair extensions than hair, although it's real hair because uh, hair extensions are coated in silicone. So you'll notice that my real hair came out nicer than my hair extension. Now for my bangs, I'm gonna use the half a turn method. Okay, so basically this method is just gonna give you a slight wave. So I'm going to take my bangs and 
And then, as usual, my camera decided to shut off by itself. But basically, this is a very simple method. You're going to just twist your flat iron away from your face halfway and then just slide it down towards the ends and you're going to get these really soft waves. So after you make a simple braid, what you're going to do is pull out the sides to make it bigger. And wider you can make this braid, bigger the waves ends up being. And then we're just going to heat it for about 5 to 7 seconds. We're going to wait for it to cool down and then undo the elastic. So this part here was the braid wave. You guys see? Now for this next one, we're going to use the flat iron like a curling iron. So we're going to take some hair here and place the flat iron on top of the hair. Then we're going to take the hair and wrap it around. Then open the flat iron and bring the hair in between the plates then pull towards the front. And what that is going to do is give you a blown out look. You see how this piece I just showed you looks like I blew it out? So I'm going to show you guys by taking a small section here and wrapping it around this pencil. And then we're just going to run our flat iron around it. Okay, so unravel, and that is a really fun curl. So I'm going to take a small bit of hair here, wrap it around one finger, and then I'm going to wrap my hair inside the foil, but make sure your foil isn't wrinkly, because if you wrap this around wrinkled up foil, it's going to get on your hair as well, meaning your hair is going to follow the texture of your foil. So make sure your foils are smooth when you put it inside of it. So I'm going to put the hair in the foil and then I'm going to close it. And then we're just going to heat up the foil. Alright, so let's see about this foil curl what happens to it and we're done if you guys found this helpful be sure to subscribe thumbs up and i'm gonna try my best to get you guys a discount code for this flat iron and if i do have one by the time this goes live that info is going to be down in the description bar and i'll see you guys again next saturday i love you guys have a beautiful day everyone bye